Welcome everyone, this is Chloe with Cousin DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to make some holiday ornaments using polymer clay. Uh, we sell a polymer clay kit that includes um, jewelry making supplies but today we're going to be making ornaments. You'll also need a rolling pin. Um, I happen to have this clay roller, but you could use a glass or a rolling pin of any kind. Um, today we'll be making a snowman cookie, an ice cream treat, and an ice cream sandwich. Let's get started with the ice cream sandwich. For starters, um, I'm going to make the outside of the sandwich first. And our instructions include uh, little cutouts to give you an idea of size. Uh, you don't have to use them, but I'm going to. And I'm going to start by using the knife that comes with the kit. And I will roll out a chunk of brown. I want this um, to be rolled out enough so that I can cut around the shape of the ice cream sandwich. So for that, I'm gonna use the knife again. And I'm just going to, first I'm going to drag it around the perimeter of my pattern piece. And I'm going to start cutting it. This would be a really fun project to do with children. You do have to bake the clay when you're done. And of course, that would need adult supervision. But the possibilities are endless. Okay, now that I have that cut out, I wanna save my remaining clay, and I just want to perfect this. And then we'll roll out the other side of our sandwich. I'm just going to add a little more clay. And next we're going to do the ice cream filling. This is going to be thicker. So much fun to play with this clay. Okay, now we'll just fine tune the edges. Now I'm just going to play with the edges a little bit. And the last thing I'm going to do is use um, another tool that comes with the kit. It's got these little 
this little shape on the end of this stick. And I found that it made the little dents for the top of the ice cream sandwich perfectly. So that's how I did this. Um, this will be my bottom. So make sure that's the way I want it. And then I'll do the dents, just press in like all over it. And the last step will be to um, put our little hanger, our hanging hook, which is an eye pen that comes with a kit. I'm going to trim it ever so slightly with a pair of wire cutters. Um, about an inch or so, I guess. And then I'm just going to push that right down in the middle. The last step will be to bake our ornaments, but uh, first I'll make the other two and then I'll tell you how we're going to do that. Next we'll make the snowman cookie. For starters, I'm going to make the base of the cookie and to do this, I'm going to, not exactly sure how much we'll use, but I'm going to start by rolling a chunk of this uh, light tan colored clay into a ball. And I can see I picked up some other colors of clay in this, so I'm just going to pick those out. And then I'm going to use the heel of my hand and I'm going to squish it. That will make it round, and then I'm just going to use my roller to roll it out a little more. Try to keep it round. Next, I'll roll out what's remaining of the white for the icing. And this, I'll use the same technique. And I don't have a lot of white left, so we need to roll this out really thin. There we go, that's better. Next, I'm going to make the um, earmuffs. And I guess I'll use blue again. And to do that, I'm going to uh, not sure exactly, just a little chunk. We'll start with a chunk like this. And I'm going to roll it, but this time I'm going to roll it a little oblong rather than kind of like a little egg before I squish it. Okay, that's a little too big. So. Let me try to get two pieces of clay that will be the same size so our earmuffs match. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm gonna roll out a little snake of uh, blue to make the connecting cord for my earmuffs. That looks pretty good. And next, I'm going to make uh, a couple eyes and a mouth. For the eyes, we need very small amount of this this is like a very dark brownish gray kind of. We just want our eyes to be the same size, so. Next we want, I want my snowman to be smiling, smiling, so. Make a little mouth. Do another snake roll here. And lastly, we're going to give him a, or her, a little carrot nose. So the last step is going to be uh, connecting a way to hang our ornament. And I think I'm going to use um, an eye pin again, like I did with the last ornament. I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter and I'm going to carefully stick it through down into the middle of my cookie and when we bake this that will be permanently in there. Another option um, would be to use a tool, um, this tool that comes with a kit uh, could be used to poke a, a hanging hole in your ornament and you would just go down through your dough and twist that. But I didn't want to have a hole in this ornament. Okay, I'm going to get set up for the ice cream treat and I'll be right back. Last but not least, we'll make an ice cream treat. I'm going to use a few different colors than I used for this one. So the key to this is to line up your colors um, like one on top of the other. And I'm going to do a very thin, my, this color will be This will be my dividing color in the middle of my other two dominant colors. So I'm gonna have orange on the bottom. This like dark chocolate brown, like in the middle. And pink on the top. And I've cut out my popsicle shape. Um, you can make yours any way you want. But uh, they are attached to the instructions if you want to download and print them. And then I'm going to lay this over my clay. like so. And then I'm just gonna cut around it. Next, I'm, we wanna make the um, popsicle stick or the stick for our treat. And I'm going to use this light tan color again and I'm going to cut a rectangle like so. I'm 
roll that out. And here's my little pre-cut pattern piece. And next we're going to uh, slice a little opening in the bottom of our popsicle tree. I'm using a bead reamer, but you could use a toothpick and it would do the same. And the trick is going to be to cut like a little slot, kind of like that, if you can see that. I can see I've got a little bit of a different color clay mixed in there. Get rid of that. Okay, I need that to be a little bit wider. And then I'm going to stick Stick that up inside the popsicle, like so. Next, we're going to uh, put some icing and sprinkles. Make sure that that will stay together. And I'm going to use purple. Move this ornament up out of the way. And we just need a little thin strip of purple. It don't need a lot. off here. start playing with this to see if it's oh yeah so I'm gonna lay that down over the popsicle like so and then I'm just gonna press it in place and then we're going to add some sprinkles. We'll add some orange. And to do that, I'm just going to roll out real thin little strips and All right, and the next step is to uh, insert the eye pin that we'll use for hanging. Oops. OK, 
came through the front. We don't want that. Go back and fine tune the edges and we're ready to bake. Next I'll bake these and we'll be back to show you the finished product. Now that our ornaments are all baked, it's time to put the hanging strings on. I used um, metallic floss from uh, the package of floss that we sell. It comes in beautiful colors. There's metallic and there's regular floss. And I'm cutting um, approximately 12 inches of whatever color. I'm going to use white for the ice cream sandwich. knot around the loop in the eye pen. And an overhand knot up above and just snip it. And I'm going to use blue for my snowman. I use this multicolored one. There you go. Today we we made mostly uh, sweet treat ornaments. Uh, also, there's this donut that you can make, lollipop, and candy cane. other versions of the ice cream treat and I'm going to steal some ornaments off our tree. Gingerbread man. Christmas tree and a star Christmas cookie. Possibilities are endless. Oh, I also made a couple others that aren't really sweet, but um, I made this cute little cactus with these little prickly, <laughs> pricklies on them. And I made a rainbow. If you make your own ornaments, we'd love to see them. Please share them with us on Instagram at hashtag create with cousin. See you next time. Happy holidays.